As we've concluded the preceding section on inverter commissioning, we'll now proceed to register the user on the Dynas app. This step is essential for accessing advanced features and monitoring capabilities of your system, ensuring comprehensive control and management. After finishing the inverter commissioning process, you'll be prompted to register on the Dynas app. On the welcome screen, located at the top left corner, you'll find an option to create an account. Upon selection, you'll need to choose the South Africa region and specify your account type. Installers will opt for the partner account type, while end users will choose the owner account type. The subsequent page will prompt you to enter your details, including all necessary information. A verification code will then be sent via email to the provided email address for verification purposes. This is the partner registration process. All fields remain the same, but you'll need to enter an invitation code to create an account. You can obtain this invitation code from your sales representative. After your account has been registered, you will need to log in to the Dynas app. After logging in, we can proceed to create a new plant. On the app screen, locate the plus icon at the top right corner to add a plant. Once selected, you'll be prompted to enter the plant name and address. Following that, you'll need to choose between residential or industrial and commercial types for the plant. Then, select the system and grid types. Installed power refers to the amount of PV power installed. Lastly, you'll enter the revenue information. Once you've created the plant and selected the desired one, you'll notice a green button at the center of the screen. Clicking this button allows you to add devices, effectively integrating equipment into the plant. After selecting Add Device, we'll pick the inverter from the device list. Next, we'll encounter the available device page where we'll select the dongle, identified as D underscore serial number. Once chosen, we'll proceed to the Wi-Fi information page where we'll input the Wi-Fi name and password. Upon completion, we'll select the Start Configuration button. Now, the dongle will attempt to connect to the distribution network to add the Wi-Fi network you've just set. Upon successful connection, you'll receive a confirmation message. Click the Complete button to proceed. Subsequently, you'll observe the information being populated in the plant which typically takes about 10 minutes to display. Next, we move to the device page for the plant, where you can access more detailed battery information. On this page, you can view detailed information about individual equipment such as the inverter and dongle.
On the device page, you have the option to edit or delete a device as necessary. Next, we have the authorization page, which allows the plant owner to grant access to someone else to view the plant. When adding someone, you'll require their email address, which must already be registered on the Dynas app. Next, we'll explore the Service tab. Here, you'll find the Network Configuration page for making changes to the Wi-Fi network, as well as the Local Operation mode. While on the Service tab, you'll have access to the Digital User Manual and Quick Reference videos. 